new menu and a new modern style decor, no less. Gary Clark is overseeing the opening as one of the licensees. Hello, Gary. Hello. How are you? All right, thank you. Good man. Uh, tell us a bit about the uh, the Digby Hotel, as it will now be. Um, well, basically, um, we had over a quarter of a million pounds spent on it. Um, it's been closed for the last four weeks. Um, we've completely changed the decor and um, <laughs> cut the bar down and everything. Um, we've got the kitchen up and running. Had a complete refurb in the kitchen. Um, Basically, we're doing um, local food, cooked locally food by myself and my uncle. Um, all things, mixed grills, um, burgers, um, surf and surf, Sunday roast we'll be doing. Um, we're having a curry night on a Tuesday. Um, we're also doing fish Fridays. We're having a steak night. So basically, all, all new and uh, exciting. And uh, we're looking forward to everybody coming over and uh, coming to see us. And the, the last three weeks, I guess, for yourself and, and indeed your missus, Becky, there would have been very, uh, very busy yeah, while you've been closed. Uh, a, a, a relief for you to open and uh, be back back to business, I guess, Gary? Yeah, definitely, because obviously we've been taking home money for the last four weeks. So <laughs> literally, um, we've had a holiday ourselves. Because um, we've only just taken over, because we're local people. Um, we took over about two months ago, and, and then we had it shut for the refurb. So we've lived in the village for about the last ten years with our two daughters, Tommy and Bianca. And um, basically, we're local people and all the local community will come and support us in our new venture. Well, I wish you the best of luck with it. And for those people who don't know uh, where you are, it's, the, it's right on the corner, isn't it? The Cozill Road. Yeah, it's literally right in the village next to the church. That's right on Cozill Road, the first out, that first building there. So we've had all the car parked and all new, new outside, so people won't really miss it. Like, so it looks, it looks looking good, and I'm hoping uh, everyone will come down. And the first night tomorrow, anything particularly uh, special lined up for that, Gary? Yeah, we've got Tony Morley's coming down. So oh, yeah, the Villa uh, Legend. Yeah, yeah, Villa Legend is coming down and um, at 7 o'clock, at to 8 o'clock. So if um, the local people who are Villa fans want to come down and have a few pictures, then hopefully... Um, who crossed the ball for Peter Weir to score in that yeah. European Cup final in 1982, of course. That's it. I don't want to do it that we're Villa fans ourselves, <laughs> but, you know, I'd like to say we're open to all, all football fans. I'm going to say there's a lot of Sky Blues fans in Michigan. Well, I'm not going there, then. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. We've got Sky in and all that now, which we didn't have before, so all, all local games will be on as well, so we're looking forward to it. Good stuff. Gary, best of luck to yourself okay, and Becky. Thank you very much for calling. Thank so, you. Take it easy, mate. It's Bye -bye. Gary Clark there. Uh, the <laughs>